On a chilly March morning at the edge of Palisade High School, students come in early to work. So right now I am going through and pretty much just cleaning out the bottom of the tank. It's not your typical classroom. And I've only luckily sucked up one fish in my time here. I was the first one to do that. It was a skill. Science and biology lessons here are hands on. So these are pit tag syringes, uh, which stands for passive integrated transponder. Their teacher, Pat Steele, makes sure of it. So if they're squirming, then we know they need to be in there a little longer. Yeah, so we have two nets and then we go around and we kind of meet in the middle. Kira Stephen is a Palisade senior. She works at the school's fish hatchery. It means a lot because one, not only like am I aware that I'm doing something to help with the conservation of these fish, and that I'm a part of something bigger than myself. She and her fellow hatchery tech, Kale Potter. Nobody zooming, nobody zooming. Spend school days taking care of these fish. 7.96. Raising them and teaching their classmates until they're ready to be released. Now my family will tell you every time we drive past the river, I go, there are my little fishies. There's my fish. And not just any fish. Yep, grab a fish. This is the Razorback Sucker. And after years spent raising hundreds of these guys, They've become Palisade High School's unofficial mascot. 110. Yeah, the Razorback Sucker became our new pet, and um, and, and, and our students uh, care, care a lot about those fish and work really hard every day to uh, to make sure that, uh, that our fish grow well and grow healthy so that we can release them into the Colorado River and, and help to repopulate the, that population. The species is in danger. Hi. So Steele and the students take special care of these slippery suckers. They know that they've had a part of, of uh, a, you know, process of trying to bring an endangered species back um, to, and, uh, and the ultimate goal is to get them off of the endangered species list. U.S. Fish and Wildlife keep a close eye on the hatchery's work. Right there, speeds that black trigger. Today, they're tagging the fish with transponders. Perfect, and then we're gonna put it on the scale. Helping them track these fish long after they've left their tanks. These fish live to, you know, 40 years, to be 40 years old, which is a really long time for a fish. And so I hope that these students, you know, they go by the river or they drive over the, the bridge or whatever um, and can look down at that river and just know that they had a part of, you know, bringing a species back from, you know, almost extinction. Nearly two months later. Okay, I'll get out of the way. Hold on. Wait, the hatchery's razorback suckers have grown. All right, we're netting. It's time to take them from their trusty tanks and drive them over to their new home. Do you still have the thermometer you use? First, getting the temperature just right. So probably around like 13. Then it's time to go. Down the road at Riverbend Park. Uh, we are uh, getting ready to celebrate our 1,000th fish release today. And so we are really fired up about that. Students and community members crowd around the ramp at the Colorado River, ready for the release day tradition. You want to kiss it? A big, kiss wet it, yeah. goodbye kiss. Good job. Now put it in. With that smooch, sending these fish off to their ancestral home. Ready, ready, ready. <laughs> They have been swimming around right here in Palisade for upwards of 5 million years. Mike Gross, a fish culturist with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife, helps keep an eye on the students and the razorback sucker populations. Proud to help both grow throughout the year. This is absolutely the highlight of my career, watching the next generation actually take hold of a lot of these problems. And yeah, I, I couldn't be more proud of these kids. All right, you give it a kiss and then throw it in the water. With every fish they raise and release, <laughs> Steel hopes they're teaching kids the importance of protecting the world around them. <laughs> okay, bye. Our goal is to get our students to really, you know, um, understand the, the importance of the Colorado River and the Colorado River system and all that touches it from the fish that swim in it to the, uh, to the peaches that this river water grows here in Palisade. It really means a lot to me. I know that I'm helping out the blood of Colorado and the river. After so many months of care, letting go isn't always easy. Because not only is it like bittersweet, right? Like these are my fish, I've been raising them for the past year, but to see all of my classmates get super excited about releasing these fish and being able to put them into the river um, is really rewarding. So with a quick toss, nice. this precious addition to the Razorback Suckers population makes its way upstream. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Carrying the hopes that they'll be swimming through this river 
in the decades to come. See you, Gary. In Palisade, Rachel Krause, Nine News. You ever kiss a fish goodbye? No, kiss some frogs. Sure. Sure, not, not fish. No, no. Yeah, me neither. Um, they hope to follow these fish through the trackers in the Colorado River for decades. So, track a fish.